Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening. Today I want to tell you about something that's brought me great joy over the last couple of months. It's a free group on Instagram called Landscape Art Club. And it's hosted by an artist who goes by Painted by Natalia. So here are pictures of this week's prompt from Scylla or Scylla. Italy. And this is the prompt that I chose to work on, and I think I will share it. So, this video is about making a drawing or a painting for the Landscape Art Club, and it's something that you can join in this week. And if you are seeing this video later than this week, then you can look up whatever the prompt is for that week. So today I'm working in my Strathmore 500 series um, soft cover notebook. It has 90 pound paper and it's very smooth. So what I found is that it is good for gouache or ink tents and maybe for acrylic, but not so much for watercolor. Um, so I'm starting with an ink tents pencil and I'm using, I think this one is dusky purple. And I'm drawing the basic blocks of the composition. I think that's what drew me to the picture, is the composition. And then I thought I would use somewhat imaginative colors as I went along. One nice thing about using Inktense pencils is if you're a sketchy type of person like me, you can sketch with the pencil and then you can make a soft edge wherever you want to by applying a wet brush to the, to the pencil. But first, for me, I'm going to get everything blocked in and then I'm gonna put in some colors so that I can blend those ink tents colors together. A color, couple of colors of blue in the water, several colors of um, green and blue and purple in that back mountain area. I find these um, exercises of doing the Landscape Art Club a really meditative morning practice. It doesn't take too long, um, even though I like to spend a lot of time on my work. I don't like to do, at least at the moment, I don't like to do 15 minute or 10 minute sketches. This one probably took me an hour, probably more if you count dry time. Um, but it was, uh, it's only four and a half by four and a half inches, um, the actual painting, um, drawing, painting. What do you call it when it's done with ink tense pencils? Um, so anyway, it's a nice meditative morning practice. And for me, I use drawing and painting as a way of really looking at something. I know people have very different views on how or what, um, what is the inspiration or how to come about a piece of art. I feel like it's a way of getting things down so that I can see the thing better. So I may have a photograph of something, but I know that I see it much better if I study it with my own colors, with my own sketch, I notice things that I would never notice. And that's really perhaps the primary purpose for me, besides the, the attempt to get it flow. Now you'll notice that I'm drawing, um, I'm pulling pencils from my pencil roll on the left side. And then once I've used them, I keep them on the right side. This is something I've kind of started to fall into where I have everything available to me and then I pull out the colors that will be my sort of palette for a painting um, onto the right side. If I'm using pencils, this is how I do. And the pencil roll is something that I sewed myself and it is super easy. I made a little video of it, a cute little video of making these pencil rolls um, a couple months ago and I will put it in the show notes and I'll put it at the end screen. So if you're interested in making a super easy pencil roll, if you know your way around a sewing machine at all, this is a project for you. 
So then this color that I'm using is the Stabilo All pencil and I've shown it in quite a few of my videos because it brings in that contrast, it brings in that dark, dark value really uh, readily and easy. And you may notice that what I'm doing here is I'm just building up the values, trying to preserve all of the light colors as much as I can and then um, getting a little deeper and deeper and deeper with the dark colors because if there's one thing that you concentrate on in making art and you want to be successful my advice is get yourself a full range of values find an image or if you're doing something from life just make sure that you have some parts that are the darkest darks and some parts that are the whitest whites. And if you get a full range, you will find a really success with that painting or that drawing. And you'll notice that the pencil marks are a lot darker when I've gone in with some um, water with a wet brush. So you might notice that little green um, stone that I have that I'm just using as a weight to keep the pages down. That's something I picked up on the Washington coast um, last year when we were camping up there. And it's my favorite stone because it's such a unique color of green and the shape is really unique too. It's really flat on one side. And so I keep looking at it and touching it and thinking, is this like a dried piece of bubble gum or what? How did this thing form? So anyway, you might see that in other videos. So I had just applied some Liquitex acrylic marker to try to lighten the sky and to show the wispy clouds. I wanted to put down the blue first and then kind of go over it with a lighter color. And as you'll see in a minute, um, the acrylic marker wasn't really doing it for me so I went in with another strategy over the top. So I think I already said this but I just keep going in and getting things darker and darker and I keep um, introducing new colors because I don't want it to be like black and white and I you know there really aren't any purples in the image but I wanted there to be purples in my in my painting. I always try to, this, this is my litmus for success on a painting. If my painting is more interesting to me than the original image, then I feel good. So if there's something interesting going on in my painting that makes me want to look at it more than the original image, bingo, then I've got it. Here I am keeping track at the bottom of what the colors are. Because for me, this is an exercise. This is not a finished anything. This is just an exercise in looking at something, trying things out. There I've applied a really deep blue to those back mountains. Okay, so this is the other strategy that I'm using for the sky. This is um, gouache. This is... Um, zinc white so there's two whites if you have ever gone shopping for the white colors titanium white and zinc white and the zinc is supposed to be less covering a little bit more um, transparent and titanium is supposed to be the one that is really covering very opaque so what I'm doing is I'm just applying that that gouache with my stick and um, giving it a really thick, juicy um, edge. You can't really see it here, but later I will kind of hold the drawing up and you can see the, the texture left by the gouache. I like that technique, I think it's successful. Uh, so I decided we needed a little bit more sunny yellow going on on that colonnade. Who knows what's going on in this picture, why there's a colonnade along a rocky beach edge, but there is. All right, and so here I'm very carefully, after it was fully dried, 
very carefully pulling the washi tape off. I know this from experience because I've done this before and the washi tape has torn um, or pulled a little bit of the paper of the see here is where I'm going to get stuck and be very careful so that I don't rip the paper because that's happened before even with a light washi tape on this 90 pound paper and it's off all right so here's this one and I'm going to show you a few others of the landscape art club um, pictures that I've done this one is a couple of weeks ago Again, I think in Italy. And then in a different sketchbook, there's a couple of other trials that I did. This one I tried in Neo Colors and I couldn't I couldn't really get into feeling like excited about that one. Um, and then last week there was this one from Shif Shawan, which is a, a town in Morocco, in the mountains of Morocco, where all of the walls are painted this really intriguing blue, kind of bluish purple color. And so he, let's look at a couple of examples of what some other people have shared as we, as we end this video. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that one must be acrylic because of all the texture on it. And then this one, this one could be gouache, but it could also be acrylic on linen. The artists don't always say exactly what mediums they used, but I love the variety of mediums and skill level. Um, so everybody can feel very welcome to share this one, they really concentrated on the tile floor, which I love. And here we have a kind of monochromatic, just the two colors, the white and the blue. And she even shared um, her process video of how she made it, which is really great. So that's it. This is the Landscape Art Club. I would love to see you joining there and sharing your images, your work. Have a wonderful day and I will be back in a week or two with another video. All right, bye.